Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it's been very long time I have uploaded uh, many videos uh, in my channel. So the actually the reason was I have uh, moved to a new place. So I'm not in India now. Now I'm in Germany. So basically I'm doing my master's program here. So I'm doing my master's in data science. So uh, along with my studies, I thought like uh, why should I learn some new things and also to impart my knowledge uh, with you. So today we are here on a new topic. That uh, we start with the topic of machine learning. So uh, it's known that machine learning is a booming topic, and since uh, many of them are talking about this machine learning, so uh, I thought like to begin with this. So let's get started. So uh, we start with the name itself. We have machine as well as learning. So uh, basically, learning in its original sense means uh, you need to. Uh, adapt to certain things uh, to do it like for example uh, if you drive a car you should first of all uh, learn uh, how to operate that car and where is the brake is there where is the clutch is there and where is the accelerator so accordingly uh, you just uh, move that uh, vehicle or you drive that car and you basically achieve that particular skill or for say example if you are uh, trying to uh, cook so uh, at the very first instance your cooking may not be that successful but uh, later after uh, some certain period of time uh, you may gain the mastery over your cooking and uh, eventually uh, it will be uh, turn out to be best so similarly uh, for uh, doing anything you need to first learn it so uh, here what we do is we just incorporate machine and we just make machine learn different things so what all human beings or individual uh, does that we basically incorporate into a machine and we make it to learn so uh, first of all let's start with the definition so it's a simple definition so since learning is an art and also it's a science so machine learning is the art and science of giving computers the ability to learn and to make decisions from data without being explicitly programmed now uh, you need to just see the two terms that is learn and decisions means you need to learn something now learning is from the data which is being given and from that data you need to make certain decisions and this is without being explicitly programmed means someone will not come and tell you like you have to do this thing or you have to do that thing so uh, that's kind of a very preliminary stage where you do that thing but in machine learning you do all this with the help of your cognitive intelligence and another uh, definition says that it's a computer program and is said to learn from its experience e with respect to some class of task t means it has given some certain tasks to do in a certain uh, period of time and its performance measure is evaluated over that particular period of time and if its performance of task t as measured by p improves with experience e then that computer program is said to learn now uh, let's understand with this with the help of an example so uh, particularly say for an example uh, in a company you have say for example a an individual is there and to an individual uh, the company has assigned or the project manager has assigned certain tasks say for example a b c up till n and at the end of that particular task there will be some performance measure evaluated by the project manager and based upon that he will be given an experience of that particular task say for example for task a he has achieved an accuracy of 40 percent and for task b he has achieved an accuracy of 60 percent now uh, this particular guy or this individual took two and a half days to uh, do that particular work so uh, he has some got experience on uh, this two tasks now uh, you just put a computer program and just replace this individual with the help of this computer program and so all the task which is done by this uh, individual now will be done by the computer program and similarly he will uh, calculate the performance so the performance will be evaluated and then uh, the time that the individual took if it was two and a half days then this computer would take one day and so for the two tasks there would be 50 and 50 percent accuracy that is there is no particular bias in this whereas here you had certain kind of bias like task a he took an accuracy for 40 percent and for task b he took an accuracy of 60 percent whereas here there was an equal probability or an equal accuracy say for example a and b 
Now, uh, in order to do this, uh, you need to have three basic components or three basic things. Like first, you should have the computing power, that is the brain or the neural networks where uh, you would be operating it and you would be wisely making any decisions. So for that, you need to have some, say for example, uh, high CPU and high configuration machines to work on this. And you have some data and this data should be good data and it should be a diverse data so that uh, you can apply it uh, in a proper manner to your algorithm. So this data basically labels or it's from the knowledge and other informations which you get and you have certain algorithms so this algorithm should be uh, the logic and the experience which you learn. So ideally this algorithm should have 80 to 90 percent efficiency. So uh, only that algorithm you take into a machine learning algorithm and then you implement it in your programs. Next, why we do this or what is the goal for doing the machine learning? So the goal is mainly to build an automated data model for analytical reasons. Now, uh, automated means uh, whatever uh, task that was earlier done manually, now it should be automated. Now, for example, uh, in a company, if one particular individual does one particular task, now, for example, he has to stay uh, overnight to do that particular task. Now, with the help of the computer program, now that task is automated. So that comes in RPA, that is robotic process automation. So that particular uh, machine will upload all the test cases and it will execute overnight. So it will eliminate a particular uh, individual in that scenario and it's mainly for the analytical reason. So analytical is basically for calculation. So uh, if manually that caused an error of some for example 60 to 70 percent that is very high so to eliminate that uh, we just do the automation so there uh, we use the machine learning and the main objective the objective is to build a system that learns from the data based on the applied algorithm so basically you have some set of diverse and good data and it basically learns from that and then you apply certain machine learning algorithm so that algorithm should be good and efficient so that it will uh, do the sampling and other processes wisely on it now uh, why to do this machine learning some reasons should be there how to do this and why we are learning this say for example the big data explosion so every day billions and billions of data is being getting generated so in order to pre-process and in order to store it in a very efficient manner or in a very uh, good or uh, perpetuated way uh, we just do the machine learning over here and second is the hunger for the new businesses and the revenue so in the uh, stock market uh, if you have new new trends uh, for extracting uh, new data or if tomorrow Bitcoin comes into picture so you need to uh, extract or you need to mine those kind of particular things so uh, there this comes into picture so there if you have massive amounts of data you need to have some ml algorithms in order to sample it and in order to process the results third is the advancement in certain machine learning algorithms say for example uh, if you have uh, developed some algorithm one and it has say got 65 percent accuracy now tomorrow if you want to apply uh, or if you want to run that particular system with the same algorithm you will not do that because you got an accuracy of 65% so you will just uh, advance or you will just add or do certain modifications in that algorithm and then you will try to achieve it so uh, basically day by day the algorithm or the number of machine learning algorithms is getting increased so that is uh, where the ML algorithm comes into picture so uh, mainly this is done in order to operate on this big data and next we have the development of extremely powerful machines with high capacity and faster computing ability so all of us require very uh, high efficient machines in order to process so obviously there should be some machine learning algorithm which will learn what the user is interested in and so it will perform accordingly and you can do your work in a minimal time next is the storage capacity the storage capacity on the server as well as the client it should be minimized so an efficient machine learning algorithm which has got brains will uh, come to know like where to keep the data and uh, where it needs to store either on the local machine or on the server. So that mainly the decision is taken by the ML. So uh, now uh, 
the main thing is uh, the today symbol that this the machine learning which are uh, doing today are mostly based on supervised learning so supervised here means uh, we have some certain data and on this data we put some label say l1 l2 l3 and then we try to classify the particular uh, models or we try to build certain uh, data based on it so uh, this machine learning is now divided into or it's comprised of uh, many branches like you have the mathematics you have probability you have linear algebra you have statistics decision theory also you have the set theory set notations and algorithms flow and neuroscience so neuroscience mainly comes in deep learning and uh, all these uh, things just comprises in ml so you have ml for mathematics special mathematics which are there for ml you have special linear algebra which are there for ml special probabilities uh, which are there for ml so you have knife bias and many other uh, probabilities bayesian neural networks so all those things are there uh, which uh, we will discuss in the future videos so uh, if you enjoyed this video please do uh, hit the like share button and if you want more videos uh, like this please subscribe to my channel thank you very much